It's the coolest show on the internet. internet. It's the next best thing to happen to mainstream media. media. What might it be? Well, you guessed it. It's the Pacini Show. show. Tune in every Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. a.m. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I hope you're having a splendid day so far, and man, do we have a special episode for you today. My name is John Passini, and you're tuning in to The Passini Show. And as always, we're sitting around a nice open fire. On today's episode, you're going to find yourself feeling a bit unsettled, maybe even a little squirmy, probably scared, or depending on who you are, maybe you're excited. Either way, today, we will be interviewing someone that has very recently been in some of the top news headlines for the past couple of days. Sitting across from me, bound by chains in a straitjacket, is the back road murderer. He's been avoiding authorities for months, eviscerating a grand total of 13 people in the small town of Duncanville, Alabama. How we were able to get this interview shall remain a mystery. A week ago, I tweeted, asking you, the audience, if you could ask the back road murderer one thing, what would it be? My team here at the Passini Show has collected the top five best user-submitted questions. And without further ado, I will now begin questioning the back road murderer through the people and for the people. So as I'm sure you know by now, you've earned yourself the name the back road murderer. User Classic Rock Sucks 554 wants to know, why do you think you've earned yourself that name? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I managed to chop up 14 people before your lousy pigs caught me at that stupid Waffle House. Wait a sec, I thought you only killed 13 people. Well, either I've got a bad memory, or the pigs failed at their jobs. Either way, we'll never know. Well, okay then. Moving on to the next question. User Shaquille Oatmeal 420 wants to know, Why did you do it? I don't know, why does anyone? Why do you think that anybody would enjoy taking another human life? Well, I guess that's just it, huh? I just fucking enjoy the hell out of it. I'm glad I was able to score as much as I did. Wow, I noticed you uh, used the word score there. It really emphasizes just how sinister you are. Uh, that, that's a good word, sinister. I like that word. All right, now we have user Lieutenant Dan's legs wondering, why did you think going to a public place like the Waffle House was a good idea? Well, that's a tough one if I'm being honest. Quite frankly, I was just tired and I had found a Waffle House gift card in Dan's wallet. So I decided to treat myself. And Dan was your final victim, correct? Oh yeah, me and um, Dan, we were co-workers. I knew the uh, road that he drove to get home to his wife and kids. Gotcha. Okay, this interview's going great so far. User Know This Is Patrick wants to know, do you have any regrets? Well, if you're wondering if I regret killing anybody, I can tell you I would do it all again in a heartbeat. <laughs> but I do have one regret, uh, letting that little girl that was with Dan get away. I'm assuming it was his daughter but he busted up my leg real bad before I slit his throat. Oh, and uh, I guess I have two regrets. I should have never gone to the Waffle House. Okay, this interview is proving to be way darker than I thought it would be. At least the usernames are funny. Anyways, uh, on to the final question. User expired milk 69 wants to know, do you have anything to say to the loved ones of the lives that you've taken? Oh yeah, um, I'm sorry for your loss. My condolences. Oh, God. Uh, okay, um, uh, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your user-submitted questions answered by the infamous Backroad Murderer. My name is John Passini, and you've been tuned in to The Passini Show. Join us next time for a more tame podcast, where I'll be discussing the different anti-vax theories with a special guest, an expert who's been working on the technology behind the COVID vaccine for years. And the twist is that she'll be proving each of them wrong in under 60 seconds. With what, you might ask? Science. All right, that's all, folks. See you later, and have a great night.
Thanks for listening, everybody. Here at The Pacini Show, your feedback is valued immensely. Please, if anything in this episode offended you, or if you enjoyed this episode, please head to our website and leave a review. My name is John Pacini, and have a great day.